What's going on guys? Hey, I want to make this video because, well, I don't think we talk nearly enough about this. Finding your support, finding that one person that is going to be in your network, your friends group, your inner circle, whatever you want to call it, that you can call when the chips are down. These are people that will uh, immediately drop what they're doing to help lift you up and to support you. Let's face it, life is difficult. Life is extremely hard on a lot of us and we are often faced with situations that create shame and create frustration and create anxiety and stress and bother us immensely and we hold it in here. And sometimes, I know at least in my instance, when um, I hold so much inside, it's a ticking time bomb. It's gonna go off in a way that I don't want it to. I'm going to lash out or uh, get into an argument, usually with my wife or my kids, and say things that I shouldn't say because I don't really mean them. It's just this culmination. It's like you can feel like the boiling pot. You can hear the top of the lid just clanking just a little bit. And you see the steam, it's like but eventually it's gonna go And the reality is that if we actually have that one person in our world that we can call up and say, look, I'm having a bad day or I am dealing with a situation that might lead me to murder this person, theoretically. Don't want you to really murder anybody, please. Uh, but, you know, when you hit a, what I call a breaking point, when you hit a, hit a certain point where you just, you're either seeing red or you can't see the forest for the trees, that's when you pick up the bat phone. And you say, I need you. And they're there. That person is uh, often, you know, a spouse or a significant other. It's often our best friends. But here's what I want to challenge you with. Ask yourself if the person that is your go-to person right now, if they are the best person. Sometimes we wear these people out. Sometimes they have heard so much crap from us that they are just tired. And that creates conflict and challenge when you raise these issues because now you feel like you're being judged or you feel like you get that eye roll like, oh, not again, here we go. And that actually creates another sense of anxiety. And that actually can be a bad situation as well. I think, Honestly, if you're a good Rippler, you're creating a few of these people in your network, in your inner circle that will be there for you. And you do this in three very specific ways. Number one, you have to be intentional about recruiting that person. You have to make sure that there's someone who is there who is going to give you an unbiased opinion, who's going to tell you like it is, but they're not going to be overly harsh or they're not going to just kiss your butt and blow smoke up your skirt. You've got to find somebody who will be there that is emotionally and mentally stable enough to support you. Number one. Number two, you have to know that that person will be there for you morning, noon, or night. And number three, you have to be active when you recruit them. You have to say, I am hoping that you would fill this role for me. I hope to not abuse it. I hope to not cry wolf all the time, but I respect, I admire, and I love the way that you handle your own crazy busyness in your world. And I need a little bit of that. I need something, something there going on, helping me out. And I would like to be there for you. So that third part about intentionally recruiting them to say, I need you, but I also wanna be here for you as well, is a huge factor. Right now, I probably have about five or six people that I can pick up the phone or I could text and say, I need you right now, and they would be there, boom, like that. That is so empowering because it has allowed me to actually look at circumstances that pop up in my life and actually think about how would that person actually advise and counsel me right now before I actually pick up the phone and use one of my credits, right? Um, and I can actually hear how certain people will actually handle certain 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 circumstances. Easy for me to say. And I sometimes find my way through the whatever mess I might be in just by hearing their voice in my head. But what's great is when I know that I've hit that brick wall, I need the help, I need the support. I've got them there at a moment's notice. And what's been amazing is a few of these people that I've actually recruited into this, you know, sort of group for me, this support uh, group for old Stevie, they've actually called in a credit or two before I ever did. 
And that has made me feel pretty amazing because what I did by actively recruiting them, being intentional about who I chose and telling them why I was choosing them, it actually gave them the confidence to say, you know, I need this too. And if you're willing to do it, I'm willing to do it as well. Because when things are going well for you, my friend, they may not be going well for me. And that is absolutely 100% truth. So that is what was on my mind. That's what is on my heart. I want to hear from you. I want to make sure that if you like these videos that you like, smash that like button as the cool YouTubers say. I want to make sure that you subscribe you know, because I, I love to see the subscribers go up. But most importantly, if you feel like this could benefit somebody close to you, use it as an opportunity to ripple your way to a connection with them. I am so grateful that you guys tune into these videos and I hope you find them helpful. If you want to continue the conversation, drop a comment down below, down below. And uh, let me know what you thought from this video or Tell me any other topics you might like me to tackle that you might be struggling with right now. All right. Till next time, my friends, ripple on. Whoa! Wow!